Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some Mount weather, and here are my uh, headlines as far as the weekend goes. Here's what I'm expecting. The storm track is going to eventually shift south for this weekend. Right now, it's hitting the Pacific Northwest and Banff and northern Idaho and northwest Montana, but eventually that's going to th that thing's going to shift to the south and hit the uh, Intermountain West. It's going to hit the rest of Idaho and Wyoming and Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and even California. And I am forecasting heavy snow this weekend across the Wasatch, the Tetons, and even into uh, Colorado. So here's the view right now up in sunshine. You, Your best snow is yet to come. I think on um, Thursday, I think that's going to be your best shot of snow. So good skiing Thursday up in Banff and Revelstoke, Marmite Basin, down into Fernie Thursday, and probably Friday as well as it tapers off. So, I mean, that's your view right now. You've, you've got some snow coming down, but it's really just going to be on and off until we get into um, until we get into Thursday. Let me just show you the pattern right now. So, jet streams carrying all this moisture direct into the Pacific Northwest. It's, it is actually a, a weak atmospheric river setup, and so there's a lot of moisture that's just hitting this same area, this Pacific Northwest, and then it's overrunning, spilling over into northern Idaho and um, also northwest Montana. The, the problem is when you get this type of a setup, it's warm, and so we've seen high snow levels, and, and that has definitely played out in a lot of resorts with the best snow really higher up in a lot of this. So eventually what's going to happen, though, is this storm track is going to buckle to the south, and all of this will then sink to the south through the Intermountain West, and that's why we're going to have heavy snow across the Intermountain West um, into this weekend. Let me show you what the GFS is thinking here as far as all of this goes. Um, so here it is. Let me take you into, um, let's see here, Wednesday morning, and there it is. I mean, you, there's definitely a rain-snow issue uh, at lower elevations in the Pacific Northwest. Um, heading into uh, Wednesday night, th here's Thursday morning. Now you start to see it. This is the third. Watch the storm track shift into the fourth. Now you're hitting California. This is the morning of the fourth. Snow drops down through Shasta, Tahoe, Mammoth. Storm starts to organize, pulls the snow down through Montana, out of northern Idaho, and then through the rest of Idaho. And now it's snowing in the Wasatch. Here's Friday afternoon, Friday night. Snowing in the Wasatch, the Tetons, and in Colorado into Saturday snow in many of those same places. Uh, the low starts to pull away. This is Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Here's Sunday morning. The low on the back side swings in. Additional snow through southern Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico. So it's going to be a good weekend across the, uh, the Rockies, the interior Rockies. And then by Sunday night, here's Monday morning. Low pulls away um, and things really start to settle down across uh, the Intermountain West. So let me just show you what I'm thinking as far as uh, totals go. All of today through the third, most of it's in the Pacific Northwest, but even there, there's there's not a ton, especially at lower elevations. A lot of it's going to be rain or a rain-snow mix. The, gra the snow levels will gradually fall over the coming days, but clearly we're taking a hit with snow totals. Um, especially on Thursday, stick with um, the Banff area and uh, B.C. Um, I think that's where some of the best snow is going to uh, be at that point. Um, so that's phase one. Here's phase two. Then you see the bigger changes. The whole storm track drops south. Bigger totals, one to two feet over the Tetons. Um, a foot or more in the Wasatch. I haven't decided how high I'm going to go, but it could be 10 to 20 inches. We'll see. Um, and then in Colorado, generally a foot in most places will probably do it through that period. I mean, overall, this is going to be a good weekend. It's going to be a good weekend in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, um, and parts of southwest Montana parts of Idaho, um, so you get the idea. All right, now that's the way it looks there. What about the northeast? So in the northeast, this takes us all the way through the tent. So you've got a couple of clippers. You've got a warm storm coming on Sunday, and then potentially a colder storm with some snow on Monday into early next week. So that's probably where you're going to see most of these totals because this runs all the way through the 10th. Um, so it's really spread out, and there's going to be a warm storm on Sunday in between with mainly rain or a mix of rain and snow. So um, stay out west. I think that's really uh, where the best snow is going to be this weekend. All right, so there you go. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care. Have a good day.